Before this video starts off, I just want to point out that this is not going to be a rigorous explanation of each class that you take uh, in your second year as a physics major, rather a broad overview of all of the classes that you take. I might do a future video where I break down course by course what to expect, but that is not this video. So with that being said, let's get started. I recently made a video on what you can expect as a first year physics student. Today we're going to take it one step further and talk about what you can expect in your second year as a physics student. Now just to make sure that everyone's on the same page, I'm going to assume that everyone who is starting their second year of physics classes has taken Calc 1 through Calc 3, so that's Calc 1 through multivariable calculus, as well as differential equations. I mentioned in the what to expect as a year one physics student why this is important, so go check that out if you're not sure. Now, I'll be referring to the courses at ODU, but this should not be much different from wherever you go. Semester one of year two, you can take your first course of modern physics. Now, modern physics is a class that's basically split up into three things. Special relativity, quantum mechanics, and special topics. All of these things that are introduced to you are going to be introduced to the very surface level, almost 2D uh, presentation. And that's completely fine because you go into special relativity a lot more in depth in your e and class, and quantum mechanics obviously a lot more in your quantum mechanics class. Now this is a really cool class when you're first in it, because one week you'll be talking about time dilation, and the next week you'll be talking about collapsing wave functions for the first time. Now though all the physics majors have to take this class, who this class is really for are the different track physics students that aren't planning on going to graduate school. So maybe someone who wants to go teach and doesn't have to take a course in e and or uh, quantum mechanics, but still has to be shown that this stuff is out there. Second year is also when I took my first course in experimental physics. <coughs> Theory's cooler. Must be something going around. Now at ODU, the first class in experimental physics is really a, a, just a course in circuits. You learn how to build various circuits and use things like oscilloscopes and function generators. Finally, in your first semester of your second year, you can take a course in mathematical methods of physics. This class is designed to sharpen the math tools that you should have already developed and learn how to use those to solve more sophisticated physics problems. Now formally, the only prereq for this class at ODU is Calc 3, but as I said in the last video, I highly recommend you take Calc 3 and differential equations before getting into this semester. And I can say this from experience because I didn't. When I took Math Methods of Physics, I was in Calc 3 and I hadn't had any differential equations and it was probably one of the hardest physics classes I've ever taken because of that. I wasn't up for the class and I really wish I would have just taken the time to take in the math classes ahead of time. Now the way this class is structured is kind of interesting because basically every few weeks you switch into a being taught a different math by a physics professor. So one week you'll be learning Calc 3, one week you'll be learning differential equations, one week you'll be doing complex variables, and throughout those weeks you'll learn how that math is associated with different branches of physics. For example, when you're going over differential equations in math methods, a typical problem is the harmonic oscillator that you might solve. Now this next math class is technically not required for physics majors at ODU. But normally physics majors also pick up a minor in math, which is just a few more extra math classes. And because of this, I recommend taking linear algebra at the same time as these other classes. And this is because linear algebra is also covered in math methods. But you'll also be using linear algebra a lot in your third year. So it's just a good idea to get it knocked out now if your schedule allows it. You can also take it the next semester if you'd like, but it's up to you. Speaking of the second semester, let's get into the second semester of your second year as a physics major. Now this semester is when you take a more in-depth course in classical mechanics. It's going to be a little similar to what you took in physics 1, but much more in-depth. And it's because of this class that I recommended that by the time you get to it, you have differential equations knocked out. Pretty much all classical physics equations can be represented as second-order differential equations. So it sort of goes without saying that having ODEs in your tool belt is a good way to go. Now in this new classical mechanics that you're taking, you'll be introduced to concepts like Lagrangians and Hamiltonians, principle of least action, a lot of things that are going to be completely new to you. Now I always want to be honest with these videos, so I just feel like I have to say that classical mechanics is not an easy class. But if you keep that in mind while you're in the class, it'll make you work harder and you should be fine. Now this is also when you can take uh, a course in advanced experimental physics. So in my experience for the class, we essentially redid a lot of the famous experiments conducted throughout history. So we did things like the double slit experiment, the Millikan oil drop, photoelectric effect, things like that. By this time, you should be comfortable writing formal lab reports. Let me try this again. 
By this time, you should be familiar with writing formal lab reports in LaTeX. LaTeX is by far the industry standard, so it's good to start practicing with it now. The last class that I took uh, in my second year was my 300 level electives. So you should check with your university to see if these kinds of things are offered at that stage. So for example, I took a course in astrophysics. But that should just about wrap it up. Here's a list of all of the physics classes we talked about in this video. Let me know if you found this video helpful in the comment section, and I'll see you guys there.